Good morning. Back on the trail. It's about 9.15. I started about 9 o'clock. Broke camp. I was up. Oh, it was a horrible night. It was very cold. Tossed and turned. I didn't have a real good level campsite. Uh, up and down all night long. Um, got up, oh, I guess around 6 uh, in my tent. And I got out of my tent by 7. Took my time made, making breakfast and everything and breaking camp. I had to let my tent dry out. So now I'm on the trail. We're going to see how far I get today. I'd like to get a, a 20 in if I can or more. Let's, we'll see how far we get. I got 10 and a half in yesterday. So back on trail. Catch you down the trail. So I'm on the uh, top of this unnamed mountain. This is a nice little glade area. It's a great, great campsite. There's one campsite over there with a little fire pit, and there's one right here, and this is a camp, little camp area. But it is absolutely beautiful up here. Would have got the morning sunshine, uh, southeastern facing slope. It's a dry camp. It's uh, very nice though. What you're seeing there, off in the distance, is the Tom Sock Reservoir. That is the reservoir that uh, ruptured, I guess, or the, the side of it broke and millions and millions of gallons washed down through the valley and destroyed it. I, I'm assuming it's on the other side. I'll be walking through that at some point today, I think. That's the Tom Sock Reservoir up there. About 11.30, I don't know, going five miles, I guess, I don't know, four or five miles. And uh, this is some of the uh, trail for the day. Uh, gonna talk about yesterday. Uh, I did see a bunch of deer and some turkey, and I did uh, scare a pack of wild boars off. That was pretty cool, I've never, scared a bunch of wild boar uh, I did kill one when I was a kid hunting uh, but I didn't see it I've never seen a pack of them so that was pretty cool uh, the weather's beautiful it was cold last night uh, I slept in a kind of a little draw canyon uh, area they had water it's a nice campsite. Uh, it was cold though. And uh, my 30 degree quilt did not cut the mustard on that one. So uh, I may have had it all kind of not set right. I need to concentrate on that tonight and get that squared away right. But uh, I'm gonna stop for lunch here about 12. Somewhere around there, I'd like to like to try to get to uh, Johnson's shut-ins access to stop for lunch. So we'll see about that. So. so I'm walking through this area and there's all kinds of granite outcroppings and boulders and just everywhere. 
just all these big granite boulders sticking up out of the ground. You can see the trees over there. And they just go off into the woods everywhere. I just thought it was cool. Uh, this kind of reminded me of Elephant Rock, all this granite formation everywhere. Yeah. Way down in the woods, there's a whole bunch more down there. All right, catch you later. Okay, I'm gonna hit, hit uh, Scour Creek. Um, this is where the uh, Tomsock Reservoir breach was happened, and this was all washed out by the uh, water that came down. So I was hoping to get some water here, but I don't think there's any down there, so I'm gonna have to go to Black River which is about a mile and a half away. I'm running low. So, catch you down the trail. I'm here at the Black River now. This is the Black River crossing when we get water here. I gotta hike down there if you can see it through the trees. But that's the Black River. Get water and then hike on. Catch you down the trail. So this is my water source. I'm gonna have to uh, bail water into my uh, bladder to filter this water. Um, this is the only water for miles. So on the Appalachian Trail, I would not have touched this, but I have no water. So I gotta get water somewhere. So it's six o'clock here I'm making water it's dark it's 6 30 I haven't even found my camp yet I did see a camp about a quarter mile three tenths of a mile back I think I might go there and then I have to pass this in the morning I can get more water out of this so I think that's what I'm going to do um, I have to say that this, this section of the trail has been difficult for water. I've already filtered two liters of water and I'm taking this two liter uh, water bag back with me so I have plenty of water back at camp. I've been hard getting water today and I'm a little dehydrated so I need some extra water. And uh, so see you at camp. Camp. So I've had my pack explosion in my tent over there. I still got to inflate my sleeping pad and get my sling bag out, hang my backpack up, keep the rodents out of it, and uh, my food bag's ready to be hung as soon as I finish dinner. So it's been uh, kind of a rough day. Been a little bit uh, lacking of water on the trail. Um, I did manage to find some water on, you see the video of that for tonight. And then uh, I hiked back up to this campsite from that water source. So I pass it in the morning to get more water. But uh, it's 6.30 on the button. I'm gonna make dinner and good night.